Hello everybody, Brad Radice here from the Wright Center and behind me is staging for Samford's White Christmas. I had an opportunity to speak exclusively with the play's director, Mark Castle. It's, uh, we started planning last year, um, uh, our season, and there was an idea that at the Festival of Christmas, where we normally have uh, choirs or um, orchestra performing, um, that we would perhaps do a theatre production this year, and uh, the name White Christmas popped up, and it was just a popular suggestion with everybody all at once. Everyone sort of was all on board with doing that. So we've been planning and then auditioning and then rehearsing, and uh, now we're to the point where we're ready to perform. Uh, our final weekend, we're doing our final dress rehearsal this evening for the show, and so it's, it's involved a whole large group of people uh, in, involved in putting it together. Take everybody from stage one of saying we're doing White Christmas mm -hmm. to where you are now. Uh, so first we secured the rights, we, uh, we moved through the whole process of planning, uh, could, could we do the show, Was it mm -hmm. were we capable of doing it with the number of people that we had and the schedule that we had, um, and we worked out that we, we could do that, we went into pre-planning with uh, scenery and costumes, because it's always our first thing to make sure that those are taken care of. We began casting, uh, we had auditions in May, uh, and uh, then callbacks, and then said a final cast at the end of May, just at the end of school, after our, our spring classes were over. And then the students began to prepare over the summer. The, the lead uh, principals began to prepare their music and their dialogue over the summer, just working on the background of that. And then we began, as we came back in uh, to classes in the fall, to work on the music with the ensemble. And uh, in the mornings, of, uh, which was in Thursday morning, we also had choreography rehearsals. Uh, uh, Roger Van Flatteren, who's the principal choreographer for the ballet, is doing the choreography for the show, and so as well as doing the Nutcracker at the same mm -hmm. time. And so he has been uh, choreographing in the mornings with our students. And then about six weeks ago, we began evening rehearsals. So we, would be, we were doing dialogue and choreography and music all at the same time, well, in rotation from one to the next for six weeks in the evenings. Uh, we had fa Thanksgiving break, which was a, <laughs> a bit of a, a, you know, a, a middle of the schedule kind of break for us, unusual. Um, but then we came back after that, and after putting everything back together, we've had uh, two good uh, dress rehearsals, and we have our final one tonight. And uh, we're really looking forward to having our first audience Thursday morning at uh, a school show. Uh, and then we go into an evening performance on Friday, which is sold out now, I've heard. And, uh, and then we have two performances on Saturday. So it's gonna be a very busy week for the rest of the week for us. And from what I understand, this is the biggest production mm -hmm. Sanford Theatre has ever put on. Yes, it is. It's, the, it's the, uh, the, the largest number of scenery pieces, the largest um, uh, number of costumes, uh, probably equals the biggest cast we did at Shakespeare, which has about the same number of people, but in terms of the quantity of stuff accomplished by those people, in terms of choreography and, and singing and acting as well, it is the, by far the largest show that we've done with our largest, hopefully, audience coming to see it too. So and it draws from every facet of the department, doesn't it? Oh, absolutely, yes. I mean, from in terms of the theatre department itself, we have our designers, uh, student and faculty designers. We have uh, the stage management, the crew behind stage. There's about 20 people running the show as it physically operates, from costume run crew and props crew and folks who move scenery, people who uh, fly the things in and out. Mm -hmm. We have our sound and our lighting engineers as well as then the stage managers who organize all that and make sure it all runs smoothly, and then the 36 performers who the audience sees. But there's right. a whole chorus, and then in the pit, of course, though you don't see them, but you hear them, the 25 members of the orchestra by Dr. Balunas. So mm -hmm. it's, it's um, to really to make it run. And then, of course, on top of that, we have at the very end of the show, uh, the University Chorale, our choir, comes in and joins in for the finale. So at the end of the show, we have 100 people on stage with another 50 or so around the stage making it all happen. So it's a, it's a very big, uh, production for us in terms of the scale of involvement and also just that it's uh, it's a very big sort of um, epic style of show too so the scenery for it is enormous yeah. and and you know it's, it's probably the biggest thing with the rules so, so. and talk about that when the right center fills and you guys do have a live audience here a mm -hmm. big performance what's one thing of all the work you've done that you want folks to take away from watching this production Oh, I think that, that here we have folks who come to college mm -hmm. to study a major and that they're putting that into practice as we speak. You know, this is not just a classroom exercise, this is a real, for real, you know, in front of a live audience. And the pleasure on the audience's faces that we hope to see, that we have seen in other shows, and the, and the engagement that that brings to the students who are performing and, and working on the show is incredible. There's nothing like when the orchestra writes its first note and the, and the you know, and the mm -hmm. actors start to sing, and the, that engagement that goes on between the audience and the actor live, it can never be repeated. It's always fresh and new every night, and every performance is an exciting new experience. And so that, that moment of contact between actor and audience is just, there's nothing like it. There's nothing like that live thrill of, of, of seeing a performance.